us to remain alert and to follow the guidance of your state and local authorities. I now want to uh, update you on the path forward having to do with the China virus. Uh, before I do that, I want to give you some numbers, which are rather spectacular, that just came out. The manufacturing index of the Institute for Supply Management, that's ISM, most of you know it by ISM, increased for the third month in a row, rising nearly two points in July to 54.2. That was fantastic. The highest reading since March of 2019. This is remarkable, considering the survey was conducted throughout July and showed significant improvement despite the Southwest, in particular, virus hotspots. The ISM measures, and uh, it's a very strong measure, of new orders rose five points in July to 61.5, and its highest uh, reading that would be since September of 2018. That's a big number. Since the April low, new orders are up over 34 points, which is the largest increase in the history of the ISM, dating back all the way to 1948. So uh, 34 points, that's the largest since 1948. Similarly, the ISM's measure of production is up 35 points from its April low to a reading of 62.1, which is the largest three-month gain in over 70 years, at some some number. These were somewhat surprising, but I've been saying we're doing well, and those numbers are really spectacular. Automobile sales, likewise, are a key factor in the resurgence of manufacturing since the March low of 8.8 .8 million units, with sales and uh, all of the numbers that are going up Stunningly, it's 65 percent increase since then to 14.5 million units, which is a, a uh, massive number. The great strength and great news is really uh, for states like, in particular, Michigan and Ohio, South Carolina, uh, Pennsylvania, very good, Florida, a little bit. These are great numbers record-setting numbers. The strength in new car sales is also evident in the used car market, where soaring demand, literally soaring demand, is putting upward pressure on the used car prices. This is a leading indicator of the motor vehicle industry. The need to restock depleted shelves will further galvanize the factory sector, and we think very substantially, based on the numbers. We're very very happy with these numbers, and I think most people are anywhere from surprised to shocked by these numbers in a very positive way. Economy-wide inventories crashed at a near $320 billion annualized rate last quarter. A crash in that case means a good thing, not a bad thing. That's the largest drop ever on record, ever. Home builder sentiment, likewise, is soaring as our home sales sentiment is now higher than last year, and new homes recently made a 13-year high. So we have a 13-year high in new home, new home construction. New business applications are very strong. That just came out. The widely followed Atlanta Fed GDP, and that's uh, something that they have just come out with now, forecasts the new data point and incorporates it into quarterly estimates. It looks like it's showing a 20 percent annualized growth in the current quarter. So 20 percent in the current quarter, we'll take that all day long. Uh, let's see if that's right. That's a projection. So we'll see if that's right. The Atlanta Fed, very respected. The uh, virus, back to that, we are continuing to monitor. and monitor in particular hot spots across the south, southwest, and the west. And we're seeing indications that our strong mitigation efforts are working.